All right, everybody, I didn't bring my selfie stick in, but I gotta tell you, I'm in Walmart right here in, uh, in Jacksonville in Orange Park. OMG, <laughs> the guy, the guy back here is, what do you need, what do you need? And he races to get it, and then he says, can I get you anything else? And then he, sh he cuts it, he boom, 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 man. I like that in Winton Beach, man. And look at this place, look at this. This place is huge, it's crawling with people outside. But it's not too bad looking in here. I'm gonna grab a couple of uh, things, a senior salad. I got some rare roast beef. I know I need more mayo and everything in the house uh, before I get to the Flagstaff. And I hope everything's okay when I get there. But I'm gonna grab a few things now. And uh, I can't video, I don't have my selfie stick, but I'm gonna just tell you, this is awesome. This is a Walmart. All right, I'm shopping. I got my neighbor something for taking care of me got some non-alcoholic bush beers. I've been trying to buy those the last three times. I got all Walmart brand, a senior salad, but guess what? They do not have prime rib burgers. All they got is the Angus uh, beef steak and the ground chuck. I don't see the prime rib burgers. They got this lean thing and beyond a burger, uh, I don't think so. So I wonder if this 93.7 is better than this uh, 85.15. And then these are, what are they? 80.20s. Oh, well. These have probably got some good flavor to them. I'll get some cheese. So I'll get, I'll get these. Looks like we're grilling out. We're going to be cooking up for a couple of days. Do you guys think that this is no good that when it comes to ketchup don't get cheap on yourself what about the mayo uh, i know a lot of you say no way would i buy that well i've heard definitely don't get cheap on yourself on on ketchup but you know what you got to be tough i'm serious this place is huge huge um i need some more eggs i want to be able to fry eggs and stuff I gotta take it with me, so I'm buying stuff. Let me see. Here's the cheese right down here. Look at this store. This place is huge. This is the best Walmart you've ever been in your life. Where's that cheese? I probably passed it, didn't I? Where's the cheese, sir? Thank you very much. Well, I might as well get some more of this, this right here. I'm gonna be needing to do some some laundry, but I wanna make sure I get the, the winner. I'll come back in a minute, let me go find out who wins. Here's the cheese. Let me find out who wins on this one. Um, I normally slice it myself because it's, you know, cheaper that way. They got that $2 one uh, right here, the Walmart brand, uh, medium or mild cheddar. Here, $2. $2 medium cheddar. Here we go. That'll work. Here's the eggs down here. I need half and half of my coffee. Here's some, here's some eggs. You always gotta look at them, right? I hate having to do it, but, you know, these look good. Now I need half and half. And, ooh, you got some Dunkin' Donuts cream. Hmm. I wonder if milk will be all right. Now I need half and half, I think. <clears throat> Or is it? Where did Walmart have it now? There you go. Right there. And no sugar. I'll just use half and half for you guys. Yep. All right. No chips. I'm trying to be good. No chips. I got some roast beef though. Right here. And. 
go down here and see who the winner is. Look, they got it under lock and key. The tide. Look at that. I wonder why that is. Who's the winner here? Five. Man, there's some high prices on that laundry soap right there. Six dollars. Thirteen dollars. We'll give it, give it a cheaper. Where's the cheaper? Well, way up here, huh? Seventeen loads. Oh, somebody told me I forgot it last time. Simply all in one. Tied. How are you gonna beat it? It's tied. What else? What else? Love this Walmart. Collins Avenue, Orange Park, Walmart. Hmm, I wonder if I need any more bathroom tissue. I probably don't, but I'll get some just to uh, carry with me. I need to get nothing but this. This is the best. Thousand sheet Scott. The only thing you should ever buy. All that other stuff that's so thick, it's like using blankets. Okay, there's laundry bags. I got that. Paper towels. I don't need it. Uh, should I get some uh, some crap drink like soda? Why am I saying soda? I, I grew up saying Diet Coke. I don't say soda. That's from the north or somewhere. Pop. No, they say pop, don't they? What I want is some, probably some uh, Mountain Dew. Where is Mountain Dew? Must have passed it. Way down there. Here's a Diet Coke. I don't see Mountain Dew. All I want is these little mini cans anyway. Right here. I hear the comments now. Alright. Here we go. I wanted to check something. This Jolene made me a lunch uh, to travel with. And it was kind of like, I didn't really know everything she gave me. And I got starving. So I pulled over at a Bucky's and I couldn't get in the place at Daytona. It was, it was crazy. I couldn't even get in. So I left. And I got my gas, but I left. And then I opened up the little um, bag she packed for me. Holy crap, there was everything a man can want. There was a bag of trail mix. There was sliced yellow peppers. Uh, a loaf of the uh, Killer Braid, Killer Braid, Killer Dave bread. There was this cereal I'm looking for she gave me. Like a little uh, bag of them for like snacks. Uh, there was two pears. Uh, there was... Uh, a banana and what else uh, I tore it up man I tore it up and there's still stuff left in there but she she gave me this cereal it's this little brown it's little squares the brown squares and I'm looking for them I don't see them I hope it's in the cereal. It might be in the uh, this kind of a snack area here. I'm not sure. There's square brown things with a hole in the middle. Best thing ever ate in your life. Where are they? Is that them? Is this them? No. No. Oh, what else did she give me? She gave me something else, too. It was really good. She hooked me up, man. All right. Little brown square. I'm going to have to call her and ask her. I can get it tomorrow. Probably not in the cereal aisle. I'll look one more time because I really want them. I don't 
over here. It's not in here. Okay. Cereals. No, 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 no. Man. That's not them. I don't know. I could get some Nutri-Grain bars. They're pretty good. Where's the Walmart brand? <laughs> right here. Apple. How are you gonna beat that? 227. Fruit and grain cereal bars. Well, here's another one right here that's um, strawberry. Fruit and grain. Hmm. What's that blueberry one that we got one time? I can't find it. I don't want a pop tart. Right, let me get on out of here. Wait a minute. Is this it? Is this where? Are those the? No. Big old bags. This could be it right here. No. You have to call her and ask her what it is. All right, I got the eggs. And I got bread. Let's get out of here. I could get another loaf of that pure day. Somebody told me to get the seedless kind. Where's bread? Um, did I pass it? Yep, so I'm not getting it. I don't know where anything is in this store. Wonder what they got for clothing. <laughs> I got a couple bananas. So move on down the aisle here. If I knew how to make a salad like her, I'd make one, but I got the Caesars. Senior. They're good. We got cheese. All right, let's get over here to the aisle and check out and crush it. <laughs> World of difference, folks. No, uh, no security guard looking for your receipt when you walk out the door, like you didn't pay for your ice or a, uh, something in your hand or whatever. It's a whole different world up here. That was the most expeditious shopping I've ever done in a Walmart. There was plenty of people working, plenty of people checking people out. The self-serve aisle had, you know, if you do yourself like I always do, there were a, a, a dozen more cash registers uh, for the self-serve thing. Jacksonville rules, man. I'm really liking it up here. I've been liking it ever since I got here. And then I took off and went back down to Boynton. And now I'm back. Again, it's awesome. The weather feels good. It's not humid. It's 86 degrees. It's the nicest part of the day right now. It's uh, uh, 530 going on 6. There's a lot of traffic out there, but it seems to move. You know, you got to remember, it's the largest city in the U.S. Uh, there's uh, the largest land mass of any city in the U lower 48 than uh, Jacksonville right here. So... Let's see what the uh, the Blue Eddie's at now. 59% running the fridge for three days. I keep exaggerating by half a day. Anyway, I got to put these groceries in here and head to the Flagstaff. And we got some stuff here, $83. But I bought this for my buddy, uh, my neighbor. He's got my back over there. He crushes it. You guys ever see carton arcs on YouTube? This guy runs around all over the country to different Walmarts and other stores too. And he'll run up to people that leave their cart out and get on them. And these people are ready to fight because they don't want to do the right thing and return their cart. They're all guilty of it, I know. But I mean, these people, he gets out and he tells them, because I mean, they don't just leave it like 
somewhere. They leave it right next to a car or in a handicap spot and all this stuff. You got some good ones and you won't believe the people, the pushback he gets. And these are just the ones that he videos and puts online. I don't know about the ones that actually, uh, you know, really give them up, chase them down or something. But it's funny as heck if you ever want to watch it, cart narcs. That's to make the truck smell good. It's some uh, orange peel. <laughs> I got to clean it up, folks. Here we go to the Flagstaff, crushing it. <laughs> 